This video is going to explore data lists. Data lists were a new feature that we added in within uh, Enterprise 3.3. It allows you to track information about projects. So it could be a list of actions, it could be a list of tasks, it could be a list of uh, people, events, whatever you need to track, you can track that with a data list. Um, the system comes with a, a number of data lists uh, predefined, but again, you can extend that to add your own data lists should you need to. I've created a project to, to show data lists in action. Um, associated with our company, Green Energy, we're actually going to have a user group meeting. We're going to have multiple meetings uh, in various locations around the world. So there's a lot of information that we need to be able to track associated with those. And I'm going to use data lists for doing that. I've logged into the site, and here you can see um, the user group site. And you can see I can access the data lists from uh, the top menu up here. Uh, but I also have a dashlet which shows me my data lists in my main dashboard. So again, I can go directly from my main dashboard and take a look at one of these data lists. As I said, this is um, we're going to have some user group meetings. We're going to run those uh, in various locations around the world. Um, and here's my data list just to track which events we're, we're running. So I've got a number of events. I'm just going to sort that by start date. So we can see that the London one's first, then we go on to New York in the 7th of September, then Paris on the 14th, uh, then San Francisco on the 22nd. Um, associated with this, I've got a description field, I've got a location field, so I know which venue we're using, the Hilton in, uh, in London, uh, the Marriott in New York, and then the, the Park Hyatt in uh, Paris. When the event's on, I can see how many people I've got registered for the event. Um, I've got an attachment field, so I can attach other content to the list. So I could have, in this particular case, I've got the contract, I could have presentations, I could have a whole host of different things I want to attach to my list. I've got a notes field, so I can see that the uh, the London venue has been booked. Uh, we're uh, selecting a venue for Chicago, we're negotiating with a venue in Vancouver. A number of things I can do to a, a list item, so I, over here I can edit them. So... That's my registrations of increase, so I'm going to add that now to 150 and just save that away. Um, I can duplicate a list item. Possibly I've got a repeating task and I want to duplicate that. I could do that and then assign that to somebody. Um, I can also delete an item. Perhaps once it's complete, I want to remove it from my list. And again, I can very easily do that. If I want to find the contract, possibly I'm interested in understanding what we've committed to the Hilton, then I can just click on the link and it'll take me directly to the contract that we've saved inside our fresco. Again, we've got the little flash viewer here. I can see this is my contract. Uh, what are we what are we committed to? I can read the contract. And I'm happy I can actually just go straight back to my my data list. So that's one sample of data list where we've got a, a list of events. I've got another one here for locations. So I want to be able to track the address information for each of the uh, venues that we've selected. So again, I've got all of those um, here. And again, I can sort that perhaps by country. So I can see the Melbourne Hotel. Um, I can see the, the one for Brazil, Canada, France, UK, etc. I've got a task list. So here I've got a, a list of tasks, descriptions, when they're due, Priority and status. Um, perhaps I want to sort that by uh, priority. Um, then I can see all the high priority ones. I can sort it by location. So I've got a location tag on each one of these. Um, or I can sort that by status. So which ones are complete? If I click it again, it'll do a reverse sort. So which ones have not even started yet? If I need to add a new task, I can add a new item here. So let's say it's for Paris. Book venue. Um, we need a new venue for Paris. When do we need to do that by? Well, let's give it a date of the 10th of August. It's a high priority item, uh, it's in progress and need to do this. ASAP. There you go. We can just add that in and then we should have our new 
uh, event on your item here, down at the bottom of the list. Book a venue, we need to book a new venue, we need to do that ASAP. Another one I've got on here are speakers. So think of this as a, a contact list. So here I've got uh, speakers, so as we're confirming speakers for each of our venues, um, I've got uh, the various speakers, their first name, last name, their email address, who they work for, their job title, some contact information, and then some notes associated with those. So again, it allows us to track that. Um, I can create a new list. And as I say, these are the sort of template ones that you get when you install our fresco. So there's a contact list, an event agenda, an event list, an issue list, location list, a meeting agenda, a task list. Um, task list advanced and a task list simple. I've used a simple one, but the task list advanced allows you to assign um, tasks to people within the project. So again, you can do that, which you can't do with a simple one uh, and a simple to-do list. So again, the next video will show you how to set up your own site and then create some of those uh, data lists for you. But have a look at the ones that I've created to see what you can do with those.